I'm currently the chairperson of Eru. I came in last year, uh, so in the second year of a three-year term. So it's uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Last year, wouldn't have had much experience of being an officer of the club at that level. So a bit of a roller coaster last year, but very much enjoyed last year. Uh, and this year has been what it has uh, with COVID. It's really been a bit difficult, but we're getting there. And I suppose the main thing is that we got the club and the club facilities back up and going and got the kids and the young underage out playing and enjoying themselves was I suppose from every level whether it's from senior down it's there's a social aspect to the club and a social aspect to playing Harland football ladies uh, football is to get out amongst your peers and enjoy yourself and that social aspect can't be under undervalued every Sunday night I would do the lotto online and we record and put up on Facebook and um, normally get various people involved, including my husband, the, our dog, my grandson, and the neighbour across the road. So it's a bit of fun. I suppose the main thing would be liaising with the county board and the CCC, um, and then going back and liaising with the team manager, captain, to make sure that they're okay, they have everything they need, and that everything that's going into the county board needs is in on time. Well, I'm um, caretaker along with my brother here, Johnny, who's we bit on well at the minute, but I'm sure if this game goes ahead on Sunday, he, he'll suddenly recover very quickly. Uh, myself and him are responsible for maintaining the grounds and the buildings around. Now, the buildings aren't being used that much, obviously, for COVID reasons, but Tom gets us plenty to do here. And we, we, we undertook a, a painting job there whilst COVID was in, restrictions were in operations, and it was a major, it was the front, the whole front of the building here. and. Uh, Thankfully we got it done and uh, now we're back to maintaining pitches and now that people are back playing again. Since the early 80s uh, we have availed of a lot of uh, government funded employment schemes to try and bring forward work here uh, in the Father Tierney Park uh, and also to develop the big site that we acquired across the road formerly known as Mundus Field where we now have two pronty pitches. We have that development more, more or less finished. So primarily we depend a lot on the, the um, Rural Social Scheme and the Community Employment Scheme uh, to maintain our facilities and also to develop them. That's the most cost efficient way for the club to do it. A lot of these players, I would known them since they were playing under 12s and under 10s, that kind of thing. So it's something special to see them getting to the stage. Like, you know, it's a, in terms of my own job, like, I, I just look at it as trying to give those lads as their achievements as much profile as I can in the Ballyshannon community as can possibly be done like with the things that are at my disposal you know the club notes the Facebook the Twitter all, all those things the, the live stream that we've, be, that we've been doing this year as well you know so it's just a case of trying to get the message out there as best as I can. I've been involved for a, for a long time and sometimes you think well why do you keep on uh, working with them but I think that you get a uh, like teaching you have a new generation of young people and you get a sort of an infusion of, of youth uh, by being involved with uh, kids in school and footballers and uh, very often they ended up uh, becoming, as they, as they graduated from school or retired from football, they became my friends. Uh, so uh, I'm, most of my friends are a lot younger than me, friends I made largely through the school uh, and football. Just make sure that uh, uh, the grounds are kept well the pitches are lined, flags are out if they want any we kind of compromise games or anything like that. Obviously we have a, an extra role in probably decorating the town the best we can. We, we, we myself and my brother, done the roundabout the other day and uh, we have the AB to do tomorrow. So uh, wee bits like that just to make uh, it more of an occasion for the lads and make it feel more special for them. I know firsthand how much commitment and hard work the boys put in as the management team over the years have put into it. They're totally deserving of this and I just hope it goes their way on Saturday. We've contested with Clothanili a lot over the last number of years and there's very little in it. Well for me, it's the big picture. It's getting back playing senior football. Getting back to the top table of, of uh, Duddy Golf football. Where we have a great tradition, as you know, here in Ballyshan of playing senior football for a long, long time. And it's all about getting them lads back playing senior football. Some of them obviously have played before but a lot of them lads have never played senior football at that level, it's been senior championship and that's where we belong and that's where a club of this tradition belongs and that's where we need to be.